Here is our pulses generator electronic circuit. As you see we control the pulse width by using potentiometer. But how can we make this circuit? Let's see. Components The first component is 555 timer. Two capacitors 1 microfarad. One resistor 2.2 kilo ohm. Potentiometer. 12 volt DC power supply. Finally breadboard. Here is 555 timer pinout. Pins 1 ground. And 8 VCC. For input power in our case 12 volt DC. Pin 4 is reset. It is activated when the voltage on it is 0 volt. Pin 3 for output pulses. Pin 5 is control voltage. This pin is used to control comparator thresholds, outputs 2 thirds VCC, allows bypass capacitor connection. Pin 2 trigger. This is used for starting of timing input. When trigger voltage is less than one half control voltage sets output high and discharge open. Pin 7 discharge. This is used as open collector output to discharge timing capacitor. Pin 6 threshold. This is used for ending of timing input. When threshold voltage is higher than control voltage sets output low and discharge low. But how does it work? When a voltage is applied to the VCC and ground pins, in our case, 12 volt, these resistors will split the voltage into 4 volt and 8 volt, with the 4 volt going to the trigger comparator. If the trigger voltage is greater than 4 volt, timing will start, and the 8 volt will go to the threshold comparator. Therefore, if the threshold voltage is greater than 8 volt, timing will stop. This is our circuit. To control the duty cycle, you must control capacitor C. As you can see in this diagram, if you want to change the frequency, you can change the total resistance of resistor A plus 2 resistor B as you see in this chart if the resistance is increased the frequency will increase. Connections Here is our timer 555. First we will connect the VCC and ground to power supply as you see. Connect the two 1 microfarad capacitors to control pin and threshold pin. After that connect the threshold pin to the second pin of potentiometer. Then connect the first pin of potentiometer to the discharge pin. This potentiometer is used to change the resistance. So the frequency will change. After that connect the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor to discharge pin. And the other terminal of it to positive terminal of power supply. Now connect the trigger pin to second pin of potentiometer. Now connect he reset pin to positive voltage. Now we will use our oscilloscope to measure the output on pin 3. As you see when we change the resistance, the frequency of pulses is changed. This mode is called a stable operation. Thank you for watching.